in first alert weather forecast. Welcome to 2024, everybody. Have a very happy new year. On this uh, Monday here, it's uh, a pretty cool day for us with uh, all the cloud cover that we had in place. Still only 24 degrees uh, in Eau Claire. A southwest wind at 7 miles per hour. With the wind and the cooler temperatures, looking at uh, wind chill uh, only in the mid-teens. A pretty chilly night out there. Make sure uh, to bring a coat if you are heading outside for anything tonight. Quick look back at the last month of December because it was a very historic month. We broke the record. It was the warmest December ever recorded in Eau Claire, easily beating the old record from 1931 by more than 2 degrees for an average temperature of 33.2 for the month of December. And also, there are some more weather facts that did not break records but uh, were very noteworthy of December. It was very snowless, pretty much, only 2.1 inches of snow, which is about 9 inches below average. We had 17 days of at least 40 degrees uh, temperatures uh, during the month, which uh, tied a record. It did not break a record. And we also had uh, at least uh, five days with temperatures at least in the 50s. That was very close to the record. I believe the record was six or seven. We had the warmest Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in Eau Claire and also very noteworthy. We did not see a single day with temperatures in the single digits throughout the entire month of December. So we, we were definitely living through some history for the month of December. It was a really strange month for us in western Wisconsin. As you look at the satellite right now, we still have a lot of cloud cover in place, but we are starting to see it break apart a little bit now farther towards our south, as we were expecting for most of the day today already, but it looks like it's now finally going to happen as we go into the overnight hours. Temperatures are pretty cool all across the state of Wisconsin with uh, low 20s towards the north, a few mid to upper 20s towards the south, even 30 down in Milwaukee. And as we zoom out, we find uh, pretty chilly temperatures pretty much all across the upper Midwest. Above average, but a bit cooler than we've seen over the past few weeks. With some milder air further towards the west already waiting for us over parts of the Dakotas so as we go into the day tomorrow. We're looking at a slight bump into the temperature once again. We should be back in the 30s for a day on Tuesday, well above average. But as we see as we go throughout the rest of this first week of January, temperatures should drop back a little bit down closer to average as we go into Thursday. That could be the start of a big pattern change, especially as we go into next week. Temperatures are favored to be below average for the, basically the upper Midwest, something we haven't seen in at least a month. So uh, we could be in for quite the change as we go into next week. Now for the overnight hours tonight, let's take a look at that. First, we are expecting those clouds to continue to diminish, especially further towards our west. But some more clouds could start to build in, build in as we go into the later overnight hours tonight. I think this model is overdoing it a little bit, but uh, we will see an increase in the clouds at some point once again. And also through the day tomorrow, basically looking at a cloud cover the entire day. Even a few snow flurries cannot be completely ruled out, even as we go into the evening hours for Tuesday. Still looking at very cloudy conditions and some light flurries. And then also as we go into early Wednesday, I think that is our better chance for maybe seeing a few light snow showers as we go into early morning and even lingering into uh, the afternoon hours on Wednesday. So a small chance for some snow showers uh, as we go into tomorrow and Wednesday. A better chance for maybe some snow as we go into the weekend. And as I showed you, we're expecting some cooler temperatures. And we are also expecting a change in the pattern there with a better chance for some precipitation towards uh, the weekend and also into early next week. Temperatures will be pretty steady throughout this entire week, mainly in the low 30s and some upper 20s. It's a very cloudy seven day, maybe the cloudiest one I've seen in a very long time. Only on Thursday we have a chance of for seeing some sunshine. Otherwise, as I mentioned, as we go into the weekend, another chance for seeing some snow basically every day. But as of right now, I think the better chance for snow will be on Friday and on Sunday. So quite the change there. It's looking a little bit cooler and a little bit more inclement as well. Very nice. And you know, gray and cloudy, I think, is like the perfect mood because holidays <laughs> are behind us and I'm pretty sure we all just want to be cuddled it's up very and find a nice warm blanket. Very stuff. gloomy start to the year for sure. So, gloomy yeah. or just, you know, Sleepy. Like a very Nappy. cozy indoor kind of day. Even better. So you got to stay go. positive, Kevin. Come on, guy. <laughs> 2024, new I'll try, year. I'll try. There we go. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it.